Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome to my makeup room slash studio filming room, beauty room, makeup disaster zone, whatever you want to call it. Today I'm going to be tackling this room, cleaning up organizing, getting rid of stuff. I am going to be moving soon and I'm going to have a nice new beauty room in the new house and I don't just want to bring a bunch of junk over there to the new house. So I want to go through all this stuff first before it's time for me to pack it up. So I am going to be organizing and getting rid of stuff which means there's going to be tons of giveaways coming from this video. I have so many brand new unopened products that I want to give away to you guys. So if you guys would like to win some makeup, definitely keep on watching this video. So this room is a mess right now, mainly because I get a lot of PR packages and every week I'm getting these boxes full of makeup and beauty products and I haven't taken the time to properly sort through all those new products that are coming in. So this is just basically, I think one or two weeks worth of trash from the PR packages that you're looking at right here. So I started off by moving all of that trash out of the room. Now, once upon a time, this room was really organized. I actually did a whole video on me setting up this room and setting up the organizational system in the closet and everything. I got these metal shelves. I think they're from Home Depot. I set those up. I put all of my acrylic organizers on the top shelf, and then I got all these plastic bins from Target and filled up the rest of the shelves. I labeled everything, you know, powder, blush, foundation for each separate type of product. And and I've been organizing all of my products into these bins, but with all of my PR packages coming in, I just haven't been able to keep up with actually putting everything away where it goes. So that's why there's stuff all over my floor right now. But this little system was pretty good. It was working, you know, I thought it was pretty nice. I'm definitely gonna have to upgrade my system in the new house. I'm thinking about getting some custom shelving units put into the glam room in the new house, but this is working for now. I'm still gonna be living in this house for about another month. So I'm just gonna leave everything as is, but just make sure it's actually organized. So that'll be easy to pack up later. So as I said, I've been really slacking when it comes to opening up my PR packages, organizing the new products, figuring out what I want to keep and what I want to give away. So I have a bunch of stuff just lying on my floor that hasn't even been opened or looked at yet. So that's going to be one of the first things that I need to do is actually open this stuff and sort through it. I also have this big stack of boxes that I have opened and I have looked at them, but I have not taken the products out of the box. So I basically opened them, looked at them, put them back in the box and then created a stack of boxes, which doesn't make any sense. So instead of just continuing to leave these products sitting there in their original package, I am gonna go through these products and figure out what I'm gonna give away out of them. All right, so step one is to open all of my PR packages that have recently come in that are just sitting on my floor. So I'm just going through all the packages, opening them up, dumping out the products, trying to get an idea of which products I might actually use that I wanna keep for myself and which products I'm going to give away. I do this thing called Mystery Box Monday, if you're new to my channel, which is where I create boxes full of makeup, hair care, skincare products, and I give it away to somebody every Monday. And they're pretty, you know, big boxes. They're like shoe box size boxes so you'll probably get up to like 20 different products in one box and that's just because obviously I get a lot of PR that I'm really really thankful for and it's really cool to be able to receive all of these products from all of these brands but obviously I'm just one person and there's no way I'm going to be able to use all these products so I don't want to be such a hoarder I am still a little bit of a hoarder let's be honest but I do want to give away a lot of it to you guys so every Monday I do mystery box Monday I pick when just based on who is supporting me, you know, who's leaving sweet comments, who's liking my photos, who's commenting on my YouTube channel. If you stand out to me as a supporter, I will basically just message you and send you a box of products. And sometimes for Mystery Box Monday, I also like to do little games or challenges or 
hidden little things where I might tell you like at the end of one of my videos like for this week for Mystery Box Monday check my video and see if you can find the hidden llama or something like that so it's just for people who really watch my videos and really interact that way it's not like random people who are just trying to get in on the giveaway you know what I mean I want to give it to my true supporters my true followers people who are really going to use these products so I try to make it kind of secret and hidden and just special for the squad so yeah if you guys ever want to try and win a box on mystery box monday all you got to do is follow me on my social media all of my social media are always listed in the description box make sure you're paying attention for any secret little games or challenges that i might talk about on my different social medias and just make sure that you're interacting with my content and it's that simple it's open to everyone internationally you don't really actually have to do anything you just kind of have to pay attention to my content all right so here is the pile of products that i just opened from those new boxes that just came in so now it's time to create mystery boxes for mystery box Monday I keep these priority mail shipping boxes like I said they're kind of like a shoe box size I keep these up in my closet just for this purpose so I'm gonna put some boxes together and start putting in the products so like I said mystery box Monday is something I've been doing for quite a while now I think I've sent out over 30 boxes so far so this is something I try to do every couple weeks or so I go through all my products and I create new boxes so that I can hopefully continue doing this like forever because I constantly have new products coming in and I'm constantly going to be needing to get rid of stuff so why not just have ongoing giveaways every week so obviously I'm just taping the boxes together and then I'm going to start sorting through all these products and figuring out what few products I actually want to keep for myself because I do actually want to use some of these and then the rest of the products will be somewhat equally divided amongst these boxes but they are mystery boxes so it's kind of like you never know what you're going to get it's going to be a mixture of stuff I try to make them pretty equal and put like the same amount of products in each one but it is pretty random and of course I only put products in there that are brand new have not been opened have not been swatched or anything like that that's why I don't swatch products when I do like PR unboxings or anything because I want to leave it in its pristine condition so that I can give it away to you guys everything's gonna be brand new don't worry this other little plastic bin that I'm putting stuff into is the stuff that I'm going to keep. So I'm either going to keep it for myself and actually use it or do a video about it or I'm setting it aside because I know that either my mom or my sisters or one of my friends is going to want it. So I'm just setting it aside from the actual giveaway stuff. Again, I'm very thankful for all the PR that I receive, but you can see that sometimes the brands go a little crazy and they send like one of everything. This one brand, I think it was Essence, they sent me one of each of their mascaras that they ever made or something. So it was literally like 25 mascaras. So I'm like, yeah, these are definitely going in the giveaway boxes. So boom, just just like that I was able to fill up five mystery boxes which is five weeks worth of giveaways and I probably will find more stuff to add into those boxes later now let's talk about this other category of products that I have which were not included in the mystery box Monday packages and these are all of my foundations and concealers as you can see I have the full range of shades from a lot of these brands they like to do that so that the influencer can show the shade range and pick out their shade and everything like that but obviously once I pick out my shade and maybe give a shade or two to my mom or my sister I still have the whole rest of the range which is not my shade which I'm never going to use so I wanted to do a special foundation and concealer giveaway this giveaway is going to be for makeup artists or aspiring makeup artists who need all of these shades for their kit for all of their different clients so if you are interested in this giveaway if you are a makeup artist stay tuned towards the end of this video for more info. I'm going to come back to this later in the video. For now, I'm just going to move it off to the side and start working on another area of the room. So now let's do my makeup brushes. I have this wooden box full of makeup brushes. I think some of them are clean, some of them are dirty. I don't even know. I have a lot of makeup brushes. I've collected them over probably the course of five or six years. Some of them, you, you know, they really hold up and they last a long time. So I've kept them for years and years. And then I've gotten new sets in PR and then I've purchased new sets just because they were cute and sparkly. And so now I just have an overflow of makeup brushes. But I do actually like having a bunch of brushes 
and a bunch of sponges because that means that I don't have to wash them as often because if they're dirty, I can just put them to the side and bust out a new set so I don't have to worry about constantly having to wash my brush just to be able to do my makeup. So it's kind of nice. So this is one area where hoarding has come in handy. But I need to reorganize all these glass cups. I just got these um, little glass vases from the dollar store and I got the little beads from the dollar store and this is how I store my makeup brushes. I like to have each different type of brush in a different glass so I group them together by you know type and size of brush so I'm just going through this wooden box that kind of all they just kind of all got thrown in there I don't know why and I'm actually putting them into the proper cups and reorganizing them there definitely are a few brushes in here that are just old and raggedy and need to be thrown away so I'm getting rid of those and then there are dirty brushes mixed in here so I am keeping the dirty brushes separate because I don't want to put a dirty brush back in with the new brushes but as you can see I had this whole other bag full of brushes so I'm just going through and separating everything out and then I have this acrylic caddy over here by my table I got this from home goods and this is where I keep all of my makeup brush cups but it desperately needs to be wiped down so I'm wiping that down with a Clorox wipe and I'm taking my freshly organized cups of makeup brushes and putting them back on there so that is the top shelf of the caddy done but I do need to go ahead and and clean off the rest of the caddy. The purpose of this is that it sits right next to my table when I'm doing my makeup and when I'm filming. So it's supposed to just hold my brushes and my tools and different little essential items that I might actually use when I'm filming. So I'm just kind of cleaning it off and reorganizing and then I'll end up finding some more stuff around the room to put on here later. Next, it's time to tackle this tower of PR boxes that have just been sitting here. Like I said, I have already opened these and looked at them, but then I kind of just stacked them back up and never did anything with them. So now I'm going through and opening them all up again, but actually separating the stuff into this plastic bin, which is labeled giveaway because these will be extra items to go towards making even more boxes for Mystery Box Monday. So I'm going through, I'm deciding which, you know, couple of things I'm gonna keep for myself, putting that away in a separate place, and then putting most of the stuff into this giveaway bin. The good thing about hair care, skincare, and makeup products is that even though some of this stuff has been sitting here for a couple months, it takes quite a long time for this type of stuff to expire, and it usually only starts going bad once it's actually been opened and used. So since all this stuff is still sealed shut, it probably has like one to two years before it expires. But now that I've actually gone through all these PR boxes that were sitting in my room, I have all this trash that needs to be taken to the recycle bin. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And now the floor is finally starting to look cleared off. All right, let's move over to my table, which is just full of random stuff, stuff that I've been using for videos, stuff that I've been taking out and using to do my makeup and whatnot. So I'm just trying to start clearing it off putting the stuff away where it goes putting stuff in the trash you know all that good stuff so all these makeup products that you see right here are actual makeup products that I use and they've been open so they just need to be put away back in the closet in their respective bins where they go I actually went all around the room and gathered up all the makeup that is actually opened and used and needs to be put away in the closet and this is what I got so now I got to put all this stuff away in the closet so I'm putting away all that stuff into the bins where they go as you can see I'm wearing a bathrobe now because it is a different day I got really tired on that first day and it was taking me hours and hours so I took a break and I came back on another day to start finishing up so like I said this plastic bin system actually does work pretty well I like the fact that it's not just like a bunch of drawers because it's a lot easier to see all your products it's a lot easier to just throw stuff in the bin it still keeps it separated but it doesn't have to be so perfectly organized if that makes sense I don't know I guess it works for some people, might not work for other people. I am going to try and, like I said, have a more updated system in the new house, but you know, it works. All right, so it has been a while since I last worked on, you know, cleaning up and organizing this room. I always have to take breaks when it comes to stuff like this because I get busy with other stuff. But also what happens when I take those breaks is that I end up getting more packages. As you can see, this huge pile of packages right here that came in that I haven't even opened yet and I use the room to film in and I just make 
a bigger mess then you know I made progress but then I just made another mess in here so I need to actually buckle down and finish this room first things first I'm just moving all of my new PR packages into the hallway because I cannot deal with that right now I want to deal with the rest of the room first I also separated out this Fenty Beauty stuff that I had from PR and just extras because I had accidentally bought some and then I got it in PR so these are the three products that I'm keeping for myself so this is gonna go with my little Fenty Beauty shrine that I have these other two I just made sure that they were safely put back into their box I have the brown sugar body lava and the trophy wife body lava here unused unopened that will be for a giveaway so if you are watching this video and you want some Fenty Beauty body lava I will be giving away these two shades all right so remember all of that foundation and concealer that I showed you now it's time to tackle that stuff and get it ready for the separate foundation makeup artist giveaway. This giveaway is separate from the Fenty Beauty giveaway and also separate from Mystery Box Monday. So we have three different things going on here. I know it's getting kind of confusing, but check the description box. It'll explain everything. Some of them I already took out the shades that I wanted for myself and I already gave a few shades to my family and friends. So that's why you see some missing shades out of these L'Oreal foundations. I haven't looked at even what's in this bottom drawer. It looks like some concealers. So I might take a couple shades out of here for myself and then I'm gonna take all of this apart put it into smaller more reasonable packaging so that I can give it all away so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for these L'Oreal products I also have some elf products and covergirl products over there and I think a few more boxes as well that I need to do the same thing and just like consolidate and you know get it ready for the giveaway originally I was gonna try and use these cute little gray gift boxes for the foundation giveaway but they weren't big enough to hold all the foundations so I had to move them into the other boxes that I normally use for mystery box Monday so basically all I'm doing is moving all the foundations into these priority mail boxes just because it's gonna be easier for me to ship them in these smaller consolidated boxes rather than trying to leave them in the original PR packaging it just it's just hard to ship stuff like that that's all these like unusual shapes and stuff like that so I'm just consolidating it so that I can ship it out easier obviously I'm kind of just throwing the foundations into the box right now some of these bottles are glass so I'm not gonna leave it like that I am gonna add bubble wrap and proper packaging so that nothing will break but I'm kind of just separating everything out right now so I'm basically separating everything out by brand I have one big box full of collab makeup one big box full of cover girl one big box full of L'Oreal and that's why I said that this giveaway is for makeup artists because you will be getting pretty much like a full shade range of products so that you can use it on your clients because obviously no one person is going to be able to use all these different shades on their face. All right so this is all the trash all these boxes you see right here is all about to go in the recycle bin because I was able to take the products out of these big old packages that are just like way too big and consolidate it down into these smaller mailing boxes I decided not to use my fancy boxes up there just because it just wasn't the right size and it's just harder to ship those type of things these are already like shipping priority mailboxes ready to go so I ended up with five of these boxes meaning that right now there's gonna be five different winners and I just kind of tried to distribute the products between these five boxes pretty evenly while keeping everything together by brand this first box is full of covergirl true blend matte made foundations this is almost the whole entire shade range of this foundation so there's some very light shades but there are also darker shades this range actually does go pretty dark so I have some of the I think I still have the darkest shade in here it might be this one so it does go dark it does have pretty much a full range of shades there are a few I think maybe like four shades missing that I took out for myself and that I gave to a couple friends but for the most part this is going to give you like a full shade range of the covergirl true blend matte made foundation this next box gets a little extra like a little bit extra because I decided 
wanted to go ahead and actually add the concealers, like the matching concealer, since I had those, might as well add it into the box. So you're gonna get actually the full range, I did not take any concealers out, so you're gonna get the full range of these L'Oreal True Match concealers. All of those, I think, looks like there's about 12 of those. And then you are going to get almost the full range of the L'Oreal True Match um, oil-free super blendable foundations so there are a few shades missing out of here I took some out for myself I gave some to my friends y'all know the drill but for the most part you're gonna get some very light shades you're gonna get medium shades you're gonna get dark shades unfortunately I did not have the covergirl concealers to put in here otherwise I would have put them in there this is another box of covergirl products but it is a different range these are the covergirl full spectrum products which is a slightly different type of shade range that's more meant for people of color so it's more of a darker shade range and with richer colors and this is kind of a mix of different types of products that they sent me from this range so you're gonna get a few different shades of concealers from the full spectrum covergirl range you're gonna get pretty much almost all of the powders these are the powder foundations I took a few out for myself but there's still the majority of them in here and then also the actual liquid foundations these are called Matte Ambition Full Spectrum by CoverGirl. You're gonna get pretty much almost all of the full range of these. I did take a couple out for myself as well with these ones, but you still get a pretty good variety because I only took a few out. So there's like, I think maybe about 10 foundations, maybe about eight concealers, and maybe about 10 powders that you get. So just kind of a little mix of the full range of face products for this box. Box number four is Collab Makeup. Collab has two different types of foundations that come in these similar glass bottles. They have the matte foundation, which is in the frosty bottle, and then they have the dewy, the more dewy foundation, which is in the clear bottles. So I combine both of them into one box, and you're going to pretty much, you're probably only gonna be missing like one or two shades out of here that I did take out for myself, but but you're almost gonna get, if not the full entire like shade range of both the matte and the dewy collab makeup foundations. This is the um, makeup line that I helped create. It's available in Sally Beauty. If you haven't heard of it, you can go to Sally Beauty and look for me, look for my picture on the display. And the fifth and final box is going to be a combo. Because I had these e.l.f. concealers, I decided to add all of these um, e.l.f. camo concealers. This is the new e.l.f. concealer. Pretty much almost all the concealers, I think it's missing two shades that I took out for myself like some of the more medium shades, but there's lots of medium shades in here, so you're not really gonna be missing it, but pretty much all the e.l.f. concealers. On top of these black radiance foundations that I had, there's two missing that I gave to my friend, but you're still gonna get, there was 12 total, so you're gonna get 10 of them of these, you know, they're more like darker shades because it's black radiance. These are like more for people of color as well. So you're gonna get like these foundations, but you're also gonna get like a more broad range of concealer. So I just put those two together just because like I said, it was fewer products and I still wanted to fill up the box. So if you want to win one of these five boxes, just read the description box of this video and that will tell you everything you need to know. And then I'm also going to save the Fenty Beauty Body Lavas. You guys will find out how to win these products in a future Instagram post. So in the future, be on the lookout on my Instagram if you guys wanna win this bundle. So yeah, I know, lots of different giveaways going on on lots of different social media accounts, but like I said, just check the description box. That'll tell you everything you need to know for all these different giveaways. All right, so I'm just gonna move these boxes to the side until I choose the winners and get ready to ship them out. Now I'm just kinda picking up some of these bins and stuff that was still on the floor, trying to get this floor fully cleared off, and then I need to clear off my table again because I already cleared it off once but then I filmed a video and it got dirty again so I have all these hair products from this hair video that I made so these actually need to go put away in my bathroom with the rest of my hair stuff so I'm just gonna take that to my bathroom moving on to this other corner of the room where I have this little shelving unit not shelving unit but a little set of drawers I have all these makeup bags that I shoved inside of these drawers and some of them are overflowing out onto the floor so I need to go through 
through my makeup bags and get rid of some of these because there's no way that I need all of these makeup bags. So I moved the makeup bags to the side and I cleaned out the rest of the drawer. I just had a bunch of like old nasty makeup sponges and stuff. So I put all that stuff in the trash and then I'm kind of just going through my makeup bags and putting some aside to donate and some aside to keep. So I filled up a whole tote bag of makeup bags to donate, but then I remembered I have a whole bin of makeup bags in the closet as well that I need to go through. So I got the bin out and I started going through all of those makeup bags and added even more bags to the tote bag of bags to donate. <laughs> bags. Say bags again. Bags. So I kept kind of a lot of bags for myself, but it's honestly just for traveling. Sometimes you need a big bag, sometimes you need a small bag, sometimes you need a separate bag for your brushes. So you know, I kept some bags. Sue me. Moving on to this other area where I have this pink box full of junk and I also have a stack of papers. These are like keepsake papers, letters that you guys send to my PO box. I didn't have a proper place to put them so they were kind of just stacked up right there which is not good. So I want to clean out this box that way I can use it for a keepsake box. It was a really cute PR package from Soap and Glory. It's a nice metal box with rose gold on it. So I definitely want to keep the box and actually use it for something. So I'm cleaning out all this random stuff that was in there just like random stuff that came out of PR packages like candy and pins and like sleeping masks and pillows just stuff that's not makeup that was in PR packages and then I'm putting in all of my letters and keepsake items that I actually want to keep I'm gonna move the candy downstairs to my secret candy drawer in the kitchen all of the pins and stuff like that I'll move it down by my computer and other stuff like I'll give the stuffed animal to Zaya I'll put the thing in my shower you know move that stuff where it actually goes throughout the house and just actually use the metal box for a keepsake box over here where I had all those bags in this drawer we're pretty much good but I do have like this random stuff that I have sitting on my window and that I have sitting on top of this stack of drawers so this I know is basically like a keepsake it's the Tresemme holiday hair products that my face is on the back of so I'm just keeping this box as a keepsake obviously my college diploma and also my high school diploma is back here and then this letter R which is just a decoration obviously this is all stuff that I'm gonna keep I'm gonna bring it to the new house it's gonna have a new home in the new house and then this stuff that's on these little shelves I have this giant cherry from Urban Decay and I have like this you know makeup from collab makeup I have these cute little containers from NARS which I just kept out of a PR box because they're like nice little metal containers this little light up sign that a brand sent me and these little things from Urban Decay which are just cute little mirror things that I like because they're cute so all that stuff like I plan on using it as decorations in my new glam room because I'm gonna have a bunch of shelves and stuff so I want to keep this stuff to put on those future shelves to have, you know, beauty related decorations. So I need to keep this stuff. Don't really need to do anything with it right now because like I said, I'm gonna be packing up and moving soon. All this stuff, memorabilia, beauty memorabilia, I guess you can call it. This random stuff right here goes with my sewing machine. So that does not belong. And then this is just a random box of, I don't know why, I don't even know, just random products, I guess giveaway products. Yeah, these are all like unopened, just random products. So I'm just gonna transfer them to the actual giveaway bin over here. I guess I can move this stuff back over here. All right, so cleared off my window. Now this is just my little hoard of random stuff that I wanna bring to the new glam room. That can just chill like that for right now. And then over here, there's really nothing to do. This is my clothing rack where I hold all of my fabric backdrops. I also have my different aprons for when I do Raven's Ratchet Kitchen hanging there. And then I have some leftover merch that I'm just keeping for like memories, keepsake. You know, I wanted to keep one of everything just to have it. So I leave that hanging there because I don't really wear it. This, I mean, it is what it is. Obviously it doesn't look that good it's not gonna look like this in the new glam room this is not going in the new glam room it's gonna be a whole different system but for now I'm leaving it like that because I'm not packing it up just yet one last little thing I'm gonna do for this acrylic caddy and all my dirty brushes that are in this giant wooden box which is really too big and too cumbersome I have this other little random container 
and I'm going to have this be my dirty brush bin that lives on the bottom rack of this acrylic caddy. So when the brush or the sponge gets too dirty, I throw it in the dirty bin and then every so often I'll take this bin out and go and wash all this stuff. It's been a while since I've washed my brushes, obviously. So I'm just gonna throw all the dirty brushes in here. I should go and wash them right now as part of this video, but I don't feel like it, so I'm not gonna do it. Just being real with you guys, I will do it eventually before I move, probably when I'm actually gonna like pack all this stuff up. That's probably when I'll actually wash all of these because I won't wanna like pack them up when they're dirty, but for right now, they just gonna go in the dirty bin and leave it like that. And then I'm gonna throw this wooden box away because I really don't need it for anything and it's just taking up space and that will live down there. The final thing I have to do is just wipe down my table and I am finally done. All right guys, so here is the finished product. My carpets still have stains on them. That's gonna be having, I don't know, take care of that later, I don't know, so ignore that. But the carpet is clear of all clutter. That's the important part. No more clutter all over the floor. We just have this little section right here. Obviously this is for the giveaway. This is the things that I'm saving, and this is my little keepsake box. So I really have minimized this down from how it was before with stuff just covering the floor and just stacks and stacks of stuff and everything was just all unorganized. So I definitely pared everything down, got rid of stuff, and now I just have this little stack. Then of course we have my acrylic caddy, which is nice and organized now. We have my brushes, which are categorized by what type of brush they are. We have my little essentials right here more little essentials, and then we have my dirty brush bin. My table is all cleared off. I just have my laptop, my little ghetto rig for my microphone. I use a cup to hold it, my camera, this little box, and my mirror that I use to film when I'm sitting down filming right here. Then of course, I still have my lights and everything set up because I'm still gonna be living here for like at least another month and I'm still gonna be filming videos. So of course, I'm not packing anything up yet. I still have to leave everything set up. Over here, everything is pretty much the same, just a little bit more organized and I got rid of some stuff, but this is just the stuff that I'm keeping. The drawers are a lot more like emptied out and organized now. This is all empty. Over here, it's pretty much the same as well, just a little bit more cleaned up so it will be easier to pack when it does come time to pack. And then moving over here to where the closet is, of course, pretty much everything looks the same, you know, how it is supposed to look, but it's just a lot more organized and all of my products are put away in the bins where they're supposed to go and I got rid of a lot of stuff and I put a lot of stuff in the giveaway bin. So yeah guys, this is the finished product of all my cleaning and organization. Of course, it doesn't really look like much in here, but like I said, this is just to get my products organized give away stuff that needs to be given away, throw away stuff that needs to be thrown away. That way I'm in a much better place when it does come time to pack up all this stuff, bring it to the new house, reset up everything. I just knew I needed to like do some work in here so that it wouldn't be such a big chore when it comes down to moving. So I hope this video was satisfying for you guys. And also don't forget if you would like to win one of these five boxes full of full collections of foundations and concealers and all that. If you would like to be one of those five lucky winners, check the description box down below for all the rules and everything you need to do to win this giveaway. Also don't forget, I am saving this little golden box that has the Fenty Beauty body lavas in it for a separate giveaway that's gonna be happening on my Instagram. So be sure to follow me on Instagram if you are interested in this giveaway. But yeah guys, that's everything I have for this video. I know I look a hot mess right now. I'm like literally sweating. It was kind of a lot of work, but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it satisfying. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That way you guys can see when I move into the new house and I do my new glam room, studio room. So make sure you're subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. And yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.